All right, real quick, I wanted to make this video because I just had somebody uh, asking me about something, and then I wanted to show them real quick the outside cover because this does happen to be the Ku Wheel Genesis uh, motor. And you know what, guys? I was just thinking, I'm not using this motor anyway. So I don't know what the heck I was so worried about the six pin into a five pin. Anyway, check it out. Uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. This cover here, right, now watch, this doesn't spin freely without that cover on because that cover has a bearing in it. See that bearing there in the center? It's got a bearing in it and this cover keeps that motor directly in the center with these screws. So what he was saying, he was riding and he chipped a piece of this off and what should he do? Now what would I do? I would epoxy it back on and keep going because to me it wouldn't be worth going through a bunch of hassle. But I would write to them and say, hey, would you replace this cover? Or at least sell it to me at a really cheap price or something, you know? Come on, work with me. I'm on YouTube here. That's what I would do. But uh, communication's pretty hard with that company, to, to be quite honest. It, it really is. So. I would just epoxy that back on a piece. As long as you have all these other screw holes are intact and it can keep that bearing in the center, you're good to go. That's what that does. And in case anybody wanted to see the inside of their wheel, they have, um, I forget what size this is, 6,000 something by, um, I forget guys. I don't want to give you bad numbers. But there it is there. It's pretty beefy, I guess you could say. I don't know. <laughs> Not really. It's only 300 watts. That's what it says on the back here. Um, 3.5 MK 36 volt, 350 watt. There you go. Oh, I forgot to put it in airplane mode. And there we go. And you could see how that works, how that keeps that in the center. I put that on. Jesus, these magnets are so strong. There we go. And guys, when you take this apart and put it back together, What's really important from experience in the past with messing these with these hub motors, before you put it all back together, check these magnets and make sure nothing metal stuck to it on accident. I try to clean up my workplace really good before I mess with them because I have had that happen. Put it all back together and then you hear this little noise. You open it up and there's a little tiny piece of wire stuck to the motor. But this is how this works. See? Now I can spin it. See? There you go. That's it. Joe Kaiser, over and out.